So a pole store contains 200 centimeters squared of printing area. The top and bottom margins are both 8 centimeters, and the side margins are both 4 centimeters. So what are the dimensions of the poster of minimum area? So we're going to sketch it out again, just like we did in the previous example. Make sure your drawings are nice and clear. We know we're working with a rectangle, so you want to make sure there's no confusion for you. So you know the big poster, and you know that there is a uh, printing area within that poster, right? Let's make it look like that. And we know the top and bottom margins are both 8 centimeters. And the side margins are both four. So what are the dimensions of the poster of minimum area? Okay, so we know that area is equal to your length times your width. And we know this, so that's the area of the poster. And we know the area of your printing area is going to be equal to 200 centimeters squared. So in this case, you have to be careful, right? It's opposite of the of the other problem where we were given the area. Um, let me show you guys where you were given the area of the poster here, of the poster. In this example, you're given the area of the printing area. Okay, so it doesn't really help us to refer to things. As, as length and width. We have to be looking at new dimensions. So in this case, let's call this x, the area, uh, the, the, the longer length of the printing area, and call this y, right? So in this case, the 200 centimeters squared is equal to x times y. So we are trying to get the dimensions poster of, of the minimum area, right? So we're going to be using the printing area to help us find that. So Let's go from there. So let's say we rearrange the area of the poster. Instead of, instead of saying things in length and width, since we don't have those variables, let's refer to them using the areas that we do have. So in this case, the area, so the length is still L, but instead of saying L, now we can say X plus eight, right? Because you have four and four. And instead of saying W, now we can say Y plus 16. So now you have two equations and two unknowns. So you can write one in terms of the other to help you find the answer that you're looking for. So in this case, we can rearrange this to be Y is equal to 200 over X. And now we can substitute in here. Okay, so the area of the poster is going to equal to x plus 8 into 200 over x plus 16. So if we expand that out, I'll just do it really quickly. It'll be 200 plus 16x plus 1,600x to the power minus 1 plus 128. It's really important to stay organized and take every term um, on its own. So now in order to find the minimum, we need to set the derivative to zero. So we have 200 plus 16x plus 1,600x minus one plus 128. So now we want to take the derivative. So you're basically just going to be left with 16 minus 1,600 over x squared, right? You're only working with this and this because this goes to 0 and this goes to 0. Okay? So now we have to set that to 0. And basically, if you multiply that out, you're going to be left with x is equal to 10. And we know from the other equation that y is equal to 200 over x. So that y is equal to 200 over 10. So y is equal to 20. Okay, so now you have the dimensions of x and dimensions of y, which is perfect. Most importantly, we have to check that this is, in fact, the minimum area. So you have to take the second derivative. So let's do that together. So the 16 was going to go to 0. And it's going to be positive 3,200. 
x minus 3. So in this case, if we sub in x is equal to 10, you're going to be left with a positive number, so it's greater than 0. And when it's greater than 0, you know that it is, in fact, a minimum. So we know that our dimensions, our little x and our little y are right. Let's find L is equal to, we said, x plus 8 equal to 18, and W is equal to y plus 16, which is 36. So that's it. Hope that helps.